hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl grace yani aka grace joys how you guys been um merry christmas happy new year for me to you um because it's of this festive period i am going to do a talk topic a topic a talk topic whatever um about jesus and how he was born how how he was conceived and what what god had told mary about him and telling you guys also um why we celebrate christmas so hope you enjoy the rest of the video let's start to talk shall we okay so let's start off with a quote from the bible um in matthew 1 verses 1 to 16 it tells you the lineage of jesus christ starting from abraham to jesus himself and if i'm correct um in verse 27 i think i did write down no i did write down but i did read it and i believe in verse 27 it said that there were 14 sorry there were 14 generations from abraham to someone <laughs> and then let me see let me go and read it for you so okay i got it then in verse 17 it says that thus there were 14 generations in all from abraham to david 14 from david to the exile of babylon and 14 from the exile to the exile so if i can do some quick maths right now 14 plus 14 is 28 and the 28 plus 14 i want to say 52 i believe if it is yes so, so that means there was 52 generations before jesus came on earth basically i thought that would be nice for you guys to know because most people don't and i didn't know that until i had to do the research so yes let's talk about the story about jesus and how it began so there was a woman named mary in and let's say in today's terms was dating a man named joseph and they were engaged that's what i want to say i want to say they were engaged because they weren't actually married married yet so we're like just like engaged and um one day there was an angel angel the angel gabriel that was his name I think he's the popular one as well as my angel michael but that's a different story <laughs> um so yes angel gabriel came to mary and told her that there is someone who is going to be coming forth and the way that they're going to come forth is through you and um and when she was she was confused saying oh but i'm a virgin how's this going to be and so the bible says that the holy ghost will let's see if i wrote it down oh yes um so mary is like how is this possible i'm a virgin and then angel gabriel has said you have found favor with God, and that is why Mary is go is the mother of Jesus. So, because she found favor with God, she was chosen to be the mother of Jesus. Obviously, when you find favor with God, anything is possible. I mean, when I was younger, and they were telling us in these like the story times and stuff i was just like ha. like i don't know actually honestly i was like okay okay so she's going to have a baby 
okay so so everyone has babies but then because the angel said she was favored by god she was the one that was so pure that she had to be chosen by god basically that's what that is what i think and so when she heard what the angel said to her taken in what he said um saying that the the name of the child should be jesus for he is the messiah and um when everything was how can i say it? like when everything was like thought through properly as he was as the angel was talking to her she was like okay since god wants me to do it i will do it because i am his humble servant i was gonna say her but anyway um yeah she was his humble servant and he she obeyed what god had said to her and then um in from matthew 1 verses 18 to 24 it tells us about joseph and and angel gabriel basically their topic well their conversation on this situation let's say and um joseph was not happy when mary told him he wasn't happy so he wanted to let me see the words that they actually said in the bible when i was reading it it said divorce her and she wasn't married to him yet because if he if she was would she be a virgin no but anyway yeah i think he's yeah he said he was going to divorce her but i mean you can't really divorce someone you're only dating you know what i mean but i think it's the olden times so i guess you know pledge to be married and she did he didn't like it at all so that's why he wanted to go and disappear and just leave quietly that is literally what the bible says the word was the thoughts her quiet and um before he even did that angel gabriel angel gabriel came to him in a dream saying do not be afraid for i am with you <laughs> for i am with you i think and then um he he as the angel told him do not leave mary for the child she's carrying is yes um because what is conceived in her if the holy spirit no is the holy spirit um is the son of god and that the, the name would be jesus christ well jesus and and that's what they would call him that basically that dream was just basically saying yes joseph i understand where you're coming from but you shouldn't do this for the child that she has conceived is from the holy spirit is the is the person who the person that is going inside her is not a normal child not that this child is so 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 special that she had she is the right person to carry and take care of this child as the child grows up basically and um so when he woke up from that dream he you know obviously he didn't divorce her she didn't do, he didn't do anything basically he, well actually he did something which was to go back and say god gave me this dream and that i should you know stay with you and so he did stay with her and um and that he told told me that the name will be Emmanuel, which means God with us. And and that he is the person that will save people from their own sins. 
so that is why um joseph was okay with having a child that wasn't um that wasn't actually hips you know blood wise and um they still had to wait you know since she was still a virgin and she was kind of pregnant she couldn't really do anything so obviously they had to wait until the baby was born for them to be proper married and that is what they did okay so now let's go to the actual birth of jesus um so this will be taken from luke 2 i believe from verse 1 joseph and mary they were in Bethlehem because of something that was really, really bad. And that the bad thing was King Herod. The king at the time um, was, I wouldn't say threatened because of this child that wasn't even born yet. Which is really, really, in this day and age, I want to say is kind of a bit like um what's the word a bit weird because the child is not born yet and it's strange because what can a child do like if the person that was coming was a full-on adult and all that stuff yeah then fine i can understand but the, the child wasn't even born yet but anyway and because of that because of him feeling like he's threatened he told all his soldiers to go and to go and kill any child under two years old because he was threatened and that's not right i believe if you were a king you shouldn't kill children but that was him um because he wanted to kill the baby he did so much stuff and then mary and joseph was in jerusalem at the time where um jesus was born and the reason for that was because king herald i believe it was said to all the men or like his or at least his servants or whatever told all men that you should go back to the land you grew up in so that he knows exactly who the person who's going to take over the kingdom the person that's going to be the king of kings and lords of lords take over basically the lands and because of that threatenedness that's not a word but because he was threatened that's why he did that and that's why um joseph had to go and then because mary was engaged to him she decided to go with him and that's how they ended up in i'm sorry that's how they ended up in bethlehem and by the time the baby was ready to be born they had not found a place to stay yet so but they were in Bethlehem, but they didn't find a place to stay yet. So Joseph had to knock on people's doors saying, please, do you have any space in the inn? Um, most of them said no, but a, a man didn't have room in his home, but he did have a manger. And because of that, and he, and he said that he can, they can stay there basically. And that is where Jesus was born. Yeah, he was born in the manger. And there was a bright star up in the sky telling people, yes, this is the day that the Lord has made for Jesus to be born. So there was three wise men 
and the angel of the Lord came to them when they were doing their things like when when they were watching over their flocks at night and the three men were just amazed how the thing like how things came to be so um when the angel of the lord told them go follow the stars because the th um wonders have not wonders like the things have begun like the child has been born follow the star um they did and they brought and they brought three gifts one of each well one of them i can't even talk anymore basically all of them gave jesus one gift each one was gold one was frankincense and the last one was myrrh and while they were while they were giving it to him as well i mean to the parents but to give to him they knelt down to the floor both needs saying here you go well, well not those words exactly but basically they just gave to them while kneeling down and um i heard that that those gifts they had used the parents had used that gifts for the first i want to say three or four years of jesus's life which was really good because when they were running away from well, yeah running away from bethlehem because um it said because um angel one of the angels wasn't angel gabriel but one of the angels um came to joseph in a dream saying you need to go now um they are nearby that the people that want to kill children are here like the servants of king herod are here and so they had to go they packed up the stuff took the baby and the horses and the presents that they got and they left and um by the time that they the people that were going to kill the baby they weren't there so it was very good timing it was very very good timing they had to go running basically running for their lives and they went to they went to egypt if i'm correct they went to egypt and um they stayed there until king herod died and that's when one of the angels said to joseph king herod has died you can go back home which is i believe bethlehem <laughs> yes yeah, so basically they can go back home and live their lives basically and um and yeah that's basically the story of jesus's birth and more you know about the wise men and all that stuff and um why do we celebrate christmas as christians and as youth we celebrate it because it's one a reminder about jesus's birth like the stop like the um i mean it's not the start but it's like the part of the story of the bible where okay this is where it starts like the whole thing starts for you know jesus saving everyone's life basically and i uh, just yeah a reminder of who he is and how he came to be basically and then also christmas is a time for family and friends to be together and eat food <laughs> like, <laughs> like and and also obviously well yes to get gifts as well from friends and family um and also it's a time to have a think of what you've done over the past year what you liked what you didn't like what you want to change what's your new new year's resolution for the next year which is a, a new decade like can you believe it a whole new decade like what are you going to do in the year 2020 what what are you going to do i'm actually asking you if you want to tell me please comment down below so that 
I can find out and I can probably tell you guys what I want to do maybe in one future video or something and please go and check the other videos that I have posted and there was one there's one that I posted today as well I'll link it down below in the com comment area I'll comment it down below it's the worship melody that I have promised you guys to do and I'm sorry that it's taken so long to do that but it's done and yes there's a bit of the sound that kind of went a bit like down I was down but I couldn't do much I'm not really a sound kind of person but I did the best I could and I hope you can hear me and other people that are there and um yes. i'm also going to do another video on um top 10 um gospel songs for 2019 i did one last year and i'll comment that video down below as well so that you can maybe compare it or do whatever you want to do because last year's one is definitely going to be different from this one's from this year's one i know that for a fact and i'm gonna have a guest for that video as well so you better watch out and that is it everyone so, so guys thank you for watching my video hope you enjoyed it i know i did telling you guys about the story about jesus and at the extra parts as well um please guys don't forget to subscribe like share and comment um everything i'll put the bible verses down below that the ones that i've used i've copied down that below and um thank you so much guys for the sub for the people that who have subscribed already and for the new subscribers that are coming to come thank you very much and thank you for all the people that have commented on some of my videos videos thank you so much guys please continue doing that and i hope you enjoy the rest of your christmas and enjoy your happy new year and that is it thank you guys bye